Today we're going to be checking out the brand new Driving Imperfect Team. This is something we have 7 new licensed cars, brand collections, car collection badges, and some bug fixes. Before we check this out though, make sure to subscribe and drop a link in this video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, we have this guy right here and he's going to show us the collections. Ooh, okay, we have a lot coming soon, but what is this? Okay, we got Apollo, Audi, Jaguar, McLaren, and Pagani. What are these? Okay, Apollo starter vehicles. So, if you have the 20, two, or 2008 Ap Gumpert Apollo and the 2008 Gumpert Apollo Sport, you get 15% cash boost while driving, okay? But you cannot sell these vehicles once you claim the reward. Okay, so we have that. Cash earned from driving any car is increased by 15%. That's pretty cool. The Apollo collection, um... Okay, this is the full collection. By having all of those Apollos, whoa. I get the 2016 Gumpert Apollo N, but once I, you know, claim my prizes, I actually can't, whoa, I actually can't sell the other cars, but what the, a cutscene is sick, holy, <laughs> Driving Empire has cutscenes, what, yo, look at that, this is sick, we got cutscenes in Driving Empire before GTA 6, that's crazy, oh my goodness. Okay, another way we can access collections is when you go in your inventory, you click here. So let's just run through, claim the rewards. Okay, wow. So having the Audi collection right here, we get this Audi R8. We're gonna claim it. Ooh, time for the cutscene. Oh, this cutscene is so cool. All right, and you can also get a 5% cash boost. Um, So there we go, let's claim that. What do we got next? The Jaguar collection. Okay, ooh. We do have to go buy a new Jaguar real quick though to unlock the Jaguar collection, I guess. So let's hop in the dealership. We want to go ahead and make sure that we get ourselves this Jaguar. All right, so this is the only purchasable car in this update. It's pretty cool. I guess we got a convertible roof, 47,000, no big deal. Let's go ahead and leave the dealership so we can claim the next cars in the collection right now. Um, okay, so we're going to go to vehicles, collections, Jaguar. I want to claim that 10% cash driving boost. And then this Jaguar XJ220S. Oh, another cutscene. Um... Yeah, this is just so cool. I love the cutscene thing. That's just such an amazing feature. All right, now the McLarens have three collections. The 5% cash boost. Very nice. We have, what do we have here? It looks like a 720S GT3X. Yo, this is sick. What? Dude, they have so many cool cars in this update. I don't even know what the thumbnail car is going to be because like every car is thumbnail car worthy. Oh my goodness. Okay, and what do we got here? A 750S, I believe. Um, let's skip the little cutscene. Yo, that is sick. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a spider, too. How nice. Okay, so we should be able to pop off the roof. Um, oh, yeah, whoops, I was doing it a little too fast. There we go. We got these nice new wheel designs on it. Heck, yes. This is amazing, Driving Empire. This is a really cool update, you know. I actually think this is amazing. And then we got the 1999 Pagani Zonda C12 for the final car from Pagani for owning all the Paganis, I think. Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna let the cutscene play for this one because, I mean, this is a work of art right here, this car. Just look at that. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, that is very nice. Ooh, look at that interior. Holy, yes. That looks amazing. Okay, it looks like the McLaren 750 has a lot of options. The carbon bonnet, we're gonna go ahead first off, get that. The rear bumpers, we can do a carbon rear bumper. Honestly, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I don't, I don't think that looks too nice. It, it kind of makes it look like tacky in a way, I guess you could say. I don't think I like that too much. The carbon spoiler, I do like the MSO carbon spoilers. Those look really good. Exterior trim, gloss black. Okay, I do want the uh, carbon. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to switch from carbon to gloss black. Let's keep carbon there. Headlights gloss uh black headlights or body color body color looks kind of cool i guess i mean maybe we might do body color headlights but i don't know carbon fiber is kind of nice having all this carbon let me just take a look at that rear bumper again yeah no i definitely don't want that rear bumper done like that seats we could do comfort seats racing or uh lightweight let's do lightweight carbon that looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and uh, come up with a spec now. All right, I went with this crazy yellow spec with a matching yellow leather interior. This looks insane to me. Oh my goodness. Look at how amazing this looks. The yellow on the interior is a bit off though. I'll change that up. 
but I also want to go ahead and customize the new McLaren 720 GT3X. Okay, so we have this 720 GT3X out now, and I'll be for real, I'm not a fan of what they did with how this is customized. Um, it really is weird with how it works. Like, if you want something in a different color, it ends up like not matching with the GT3X logos. And the primary color, if you change that, it changes the rims and the roof. I feel like, I mean, maybe that's how it is with the real car, but I don't know. I feel like it's best left stock, probably. So I don't think I want to mess with the spec too much. But we could do um, some McLaren orange calipers, and maybe, couldn't we do an orange interior? We could. Okay, let's get some orange accents that actually match better than those. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks That looks pretty good, I guess. What if we did orange underglow, though, to match with the orange accents? That could look really neat. Um, yes, okay. That is how we're gonna make this look cool, with the underglow. Okay, that's a good idea. Yes. Because the car has to be black for the wheels to be black. But we can still have some sick underglow. That's actually really nice. Alright, so for the Pagani Zonda, I'll be for real, it looks kind of nice in blue. I've already got it maxed out. Um... That looks pretty good in blue, I would say. You know, a lot of people could hate on it, but I think this is a real-life spec on one, so that's why I have decided to put it in blue. I love the interior how it is, though, the brown on grayish white. So we're gonna keep that um, the same. I think I did pretty good with this spec. All right, I've got the Jaguar maxed out in spec. This one's also gonna be blue. You guys know I love my blue cars. Um, Let me go ahead and actually do the other Jaguar, even though it's kind of a mid car, I guess we could say. You know, not as cool as some of these other cars in this update. We're still gonna give it a little spec, so... Let's see, what do we want? Maybe like, uh, why is that not changing? That's a little issue. Um, okay, since that panel there just doesn't change color for some reason, we gotta leave it in this whitish silver color. But we did throw on some aftermarket wheels and red calipers, and we got it maxed out, of course. So it's still pretty cool, I guess. But let me go ahead and figure out what, what, else, what else came in this update. What do we need to upgrade next? All right, the next car we have to check out is the crazy looking Apollo right here. All right, and this is the perfect car to put in my favorite color, the blue. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Let me see what we can do with the interior. Can we add any details? Um, no, ooh, we got those nice stripes in there though. That looks pretty good. We could do yellow calipers actually, hold up. Yellow calipers might be a cool little detail to do on this one. All right, and now we got this Audi to upgrade. So let me go ahead and see what we can do to it. Um, Okay, I have the Audi here. Let's first off, black out those wheels. I like those, yep, just like that in black. For calipers, I want to do red. It's already looking more aggressive. Interior. Um, okay, can we get red on there? Yes, we can. A red seat. That's pretty crazy. Paint. Ooh! Let's do all out red, man. Red looks pretty crazy. Okay, hold up. Do we do this in gray, though? That looks kind of cool like that, actually. Um, can I change that color right there that's, like, silver? I don't believe there's a way to. That sucks. But, um, is there a license plate with red on it? Yeah, this one right here. That looks pretty good. Okay, um, yeah, I definitely like red on this car. It looks really good with red details all over. All right, I decided to take the 720 GT3 X out. This one's one of my favorite looking for the design in this update. So, you know what? This is the car that I've decided to take on this track. Um, if you all want to see any other cars get driven around this track, maybe I could do another video with that. Let me know in the comments if you want that. But to be honest, I think you guys should just go ahead and, you know, get these cars in this update yourself and then you can really experience them for yourself get a feel for how they actually feel because I can only, you know, show you how they feel so much. You don't really understand unless you own it probably. So that's the best advice I could give you if you want to see more stuff shown because there's just too many good cars in this update to decide which one to showcase right now. But um, yeah, oh, <laughs> okay, that was my bad for driving like that. But it's feeling pretty nice around the track so far. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in though. No, why did it flip? Oh my goodness. We were doing so decent. I, I wouldn't say good, but we were doing decent. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh my goodness. This car, why is it flipping? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to that finish line. All right, and we're finished finally. Okay, in three minutes and 20 seconds. Not the best, I'll be for real, but um, that might be a driver's error thing. 
But that's the brand new driving part update. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe to the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Check out the video on screen here at YouTube. Thanks for the like it, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.